Hey there, welcome to the show. In this video, we're going to create a Dune buggy for the Dune movie 10 scale RC version. What strikes me about the Tamiya Grasshopper is how well it fits in the Dune movie. Take a look at the Ornithopter. It doesn't have a streamlined shape. Instead, it has straight lines on the edges and corners, and it's basically a giant mechanical dragonfly. With nothing but straight lines and sharp angles, our Doom Buggy will be a giant mechanical grasshopper on wheels. Without further ado, let's go straight to painting. Now the entire chassis is properly painted including the speed controller, the wires and the motor. Painted wheels. Ready? Boom! Meet Stilgar, the leader of the Fremen people on planet Arrakis and my favorite character in the movie. Mm. Javier Bardem is totally awesome in the movie. But this 10th scale likeness of him, purchased on Amazon, has some problems. He is too clean to be any realistic, so there's a bit of theatrical makeup work to be done. Stilgar is trying out a new steering wheel. How do you like your new wheel, boss? It'll do. Time for some special effects. Here we have a UV LED and a UV activated paint that glows blue. That's right, this is for the Fremen eye. The Fremen people breathe in too much spice particles that their eyes turn blue. This would be a good spot to mount the LED. Looking sharp, boss. This is a standard light bucket from Tamiya. You can see the light bulb from the outside, which is not the case in the movie. All the lights in the movie, including the searchlights, illuminates evenly across the surface. This is basically an unknown lighting technology used by a distant civilization. And for our little project, this means we're gonna make a diffuser. What is showing on the screen is my improvised method to build a poor man's diffuser by using scraps. Leave a comment below if you have a better way to do this. It doesn't look much, but it gets the job done. It came together nicely and we're getting closer to the finish line. Say goodbye to the clean factory look because we are going to apply oil paint. The oil paint is meant to simulate sand. I find this dry brushing technique easy to work with. Because I have previously applied a top coat, I can easily push the oil paint around by brushing or tapping. Sand would go everywhere, so basically this has to be applied to the whole thing, including the wheels, light bucket, wires, steel guard, and his steering wheel. Time to dust up the mask and put it on. I see a problem. His face is still too clean. Applying more panel liner to remedy this. I overdid this and now he looks like he went to a coal mine. Now I have to fix the fix. Now this is the proper look of someone who um, doesn't take a bath. What? It's getting all summer each day. And now as a final step, we're going to add one more thing. We're going to add the... Um, 
Yes, the most important Shai Hulu accessory. Do you know this? It's a crisp knife. It's made from a tooth of Shai Hulu, the great sandworm. Sounds good to me. One crisp knife coming up, mounting on the side so Stilgar can grab it easily. That was fun. Stilgar had a blast in the baseball field, which is the closest thing to a dune I can find around where I live. He never blinks, so I have to wipe the dust away from his eyes. The smoke from the baseball field added a layer of natural dust, and that looks great. The Tamiya Grasshopper, being an almost 40-year-old design, drives surprisingly well. This has been a super fun project for me and I hope you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and hit notification. I'll see you on the next one.